Hello world! In previous video I showed you how easily you can create a Databricks Community Edition which is free forever. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a Databricks workspace in Microsoft Azure which gives you access to the full set of the features but you will be able to avoid costs only at the beginning then you will need to pay for using Databricks. It doesn't have to be big money but there will be something. Okay, first things first. We want to log into Azure account. We can do that by going to azure.microsoft.com and on the right side we have on the right side we have signed in. If you don't have Azure account, well, it's a time to create one. What you can do is you can click create account and then you will have two options to go. Start for free, which will give you access to some things for free forever, plus I think some basics Databricks stuff. But what you really want to do, you want to create your account and as quickly as possible, switch to the plan which is called pay as you go. This is when you will need to pay for using Databricks and other services. But the good thing is that in order to encourage you, Microsoft, and I'm not sure if it's written somewhere here, it was written on the previous page, to encourage you, Microsoft will give you 200 bucks for a start, which you can spend in the first month. When you have Microsoft Azure account, you can sign in. And once you will have Azure portal in front of you, it will be enough just to write the Databricks in search. And here it is, Azure Databricks. I click it. What I want to do is I want to click create on the left top side, create, and provide very, very few information. First of all, the information about the subscription. Subscription is the account which I'm using and I have pay as you go. So in my case, it's called Azure Basic. In your case, it will be called whatever name you have provided when you were registering for Azure Portal. Then the second thing is the resource group. Resource group allows you to keep different resources together like the Databricks workspaces or maybe some storage or the virtual machines. You can keep them together in resource group, which is really handy if you would be, if you would be after, for instance, removing, deleting them. Instead of deleting each and every resource, you can delete the whole resource group. So the resource group is only for your convenience. You can create a new one over here or if you already have some created, you can choose them from the list. Then instance details. And that's the last three information. So workspace name and a region. The rule is that you should choose a region which is the closest to you because then you will get the best speed, the, the highest speed. But the truth is that the American region is cheaper than Europe. So depends what you prefer. Prefer you can you can stay with the US or you can choose if you are in India something closer to you or in Europe. I will stay with the US. It doesn't change too much. Basically, that's where your data will be stored and the pricing tier. Databricks comes in the two pricing tiers, standard and premium. There are some differences between them and you also have a tri trial. So it's like gives you free processing power for the first 14 days, which I don't think that you need to worry about because you anyway got, do got those 200 bucks. If you are having Azure account for the long time and you haven't got that 200 bucks, then you want to start with the trial. If you got those 200 bucks, I would just skip it and I would go straight away for premium. And let me show you some differences between premium and standards. That's a page which I will link under the movie. This is where you can see what are the differences between different pricing tiers. It's like in terms of Databricks workspace. So it's basically at the first glance, standard and premium will look the same. But once you will start learning Databricks and going deeper into different features like a governance and management, then you will see that there are some differences between standard and premium. Like over here, in case of standard, you don't have access to the Unity catalog, which is really important if you want to understand Databricks fully. There are also a difference in terms of enterprise security features available for you. Well, this is not so important for, for the learning, but the Unity catalog, it's really a big deal. Another big thing is that I think that you will not have access to the Databricks SQL. If you go, if you go with the standard, going back to our page. So I choose a premium and I highly encourage you for the purpose of learning to do that as well. Then I can just click review and create. Further details like the networking encryption, well, you know, we can go and see what's there. But any of those are not really necessary. 
for the purpose of creating the first Databricks account. And once the verifi verification validation has been, uh, has been finalized, then just hit create button. And the creation process of the Databricks workspace start. It usually takes a couple of minutes. Your deployment is completed. So now we can go to click and click go to resource. And then we have two options. We can either click launch workspace, either click on the, to the URL on the right. I will click launch workspace. Don't forget to bookmark that page because you will be using that frequently. And on the left, we have our main menu with the workspace. We will be writing our codes. We have a catalog where we can browse through the tables and the data, compute to create a cluster, SQL warehouse, and many other cool features, which we, which we are going to explore one by one in the future movies. So someone would say that it's worth to subscribe, and that's true, it's definitely worth to subscribe. Meantime, if you will forget how to log in here, you can always go to Azure Portal, Azure Portal, and just find a Databricks there. And you can find a Databricks over here. You go and click Azure Databricks. And then depends how you, how you name the workspace. In my case, it's example for YouTube. And again, you can launch the workspace and you will be in exactly the same place. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed and that you were successful in creating your account. If you have some further questions or some problems, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.